رجع حنم الموضوع لين كنا اوكي كذا بتشو بتشان تو بوك سايلنت ميتال ستور ميشن لا لاك اوكي كذا بوتش ليتس جون تو بوك سايلنت ميتال ابغى اطلع من هنا كيف المكان كله طين شكله همطرت What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Ah, Christ, or... you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Oh, hey, shit. That's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Hey, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Well, I saw it. I it. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. Yeah, Roll up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. Scour them across the yard. Bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You, you head up to the roof. Well, well, looks like a sniper mission. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. Go right back there, lass. What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? Ah, oh, shite, girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. Watch the left side. Ah! 
Yeah. Oh, I feel like there's fucking fire ants crawling through me brain. Oh, no. Damn. Poor bastards must be starving. I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Kill the butcher. Confirm the butcher. Okay. Oh, he's got a piece of it. To me, <laughs> should have saved a bullet or two. You're dead, Negra man. and Mick working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave them? Yeah, your brave legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization, you're gonna suck my dick in hell. <laughs> yeah, up, Missy, up. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. 
Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Damn. To complete Star Mission I like the only way for it, okay. Let's see. Mind to get out of here. Next mission should be in. In here, maybe? Yeah. Well, guests are treated like royalty. The meatbook. Every desire, every urge, and every lascivious whim is granted with good cheer. Book one of our romantic weekend getaways and enjoy a bottle of champagne and complimentary candle to help set the perfect mood for a night of cuddles and bubbles. Enjoy a fine meal at our four-star restaurant. Dance the night away to the big dollar orchestra. The Royal Hotel. And I go. Not with the thing. The hell out of your book. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You 
already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May cell. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Aye. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we have to go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man to what's busted up inside of us. But it doesn't, does it? No. It does. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense. Change it. Damn. Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But a deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Excuse me. Sure thing, guys. Let's go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Uh. 